Rule 25, sailing vessels underway and vessels under oars. <laughs> Pretty funny. These vessels back in the day had no engines. Oh. Vessels under oars. You're a sailboat, and when there was no wind, you were a rowboat. <laughs> a vessel under oars. <clears throat> A sailing vessel underway shall exhibit side lights and a stern light. In a sailing vessel of less than 20 meters in length, the side lights prescribed in paragraph A of this rule may be combined in one lantern carried at or near the top of the mast where it can best be seen. Now, if you're under 20 meters, you have the tricolor at the top, can you run your side lights and stern light on the hull too? I don't think so. So it's either or. Either or. Hmm. But it does say, a sailing vessel underway may, in addition to the lights prescribed in paragraph A of this rule, exhibit at or near the top of the mast where they can best be seen, two all-around lights in a vertical line, the upper being red and the lower green. But these lights shall not be exhibited in conjunction with the combined lantern permitted by paragraph B of this rule. Okay, but that's only for international. Is that the same for inland? You can have the red over green? Yes. Okay. Yep. You may have that red over green. <coughs> Thank you. So, let's see. Okay. It continues on page 77. A sailing vessel of less than seven meters in length shall, if practicable, exhibit the lights prescribed in paragraph A or B of this rule. But if she does not, she shall have ready at hand an electric torch or lighted lantern showing a white light which shall be exhibited in sufficient time to prevent collision. A vessel under oars may exhibit the lights prescribed in this rule for sailing vessels, but if she does not, she shall have ready at hand an electric torch or lighted lantern showing a white light which shall be exhibited in sufficient time to prevent collision. Page 79. Rule 25 continued. A vessel proceeding under sail when also being propelled by machinery shall exhibit forward where it can best be seen a conical shape apex downward. A vessel of less than 12 meters in length is not required to exhibit this shape, but may do so. So if we look at a sailing vessel, a sailing vessel needs to have side lights and a stern light. A sailing vessel less than 20 meters may combine their side lights and stern light into one tri-light. Red, green, and white, and mount it on the top of the mast, less than 20 meters. You see a tricky question in there that says, that says a vessel 25 meters may exhibit as a trilight. No, less than 20 oh. meters may. A sailing vessel may exhibit on the masthead red over green. I'm a sailing machine. They may not exhibit this in combination with the tri-light. So you have to have fixed side lights and a stern light to run red over green on your masthead. Right. Yeah. Good. So there's always a side light and a stern light one way or another. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Now, if you go red over green, is there any length requirements? Mm, I really, I don't think so. Sailing vessel underway may, in addition to the lights prescribed in paragraph A of this rule, exhibit at or near the top of the mast where they can best be seen two all-around lights in a vertical line, the upper being red and the lower green, but these lights shall not be exhibited in conjunction with the combined lantern permitted by paragraph B of this rule. So there wasn't any restrictions 
mentioned specifically. Okay, a sailing vessel of less than seven meters in length shall exhibit the lights prescribed, but if she does not, she shall have ready at hand an electric torch or a lighted lantern. I mean, seven meters is a 23-foot boat. Yeah, I looked that up because my son has an 18-foot buccaneer. Yeah. And he doesn't have any side lights or stern lights. And no battery. Right. So, so if he I brings a flashlight or like an LED flashlight. Mm -hmm. That's all he needs. Yeah. And he, he just needs to shine it at the vessel coming, right? Yeah. doesn't have to be like all around or anything. No. An electric, you can have a lighted lantern. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That is funny. A whale oil lantern shall be lighted <laughs> in sufficient time. <laughs> right. If you can find the whale oil. <laughs> right. So, in that, it's a buccaneer, right? Yeah. My friends got one. Jason and Steph. They redid it. It's real nice. <clears throat> I don't know how much they use it since they got their trip, though. <laughs> so, it's not practicable to have a battery no. and a charger and all these things. It's such a small vessel. It's open. Water comes in. Water goes out while you're sailing. It's not practicable. So you just need an electric torch or lighted lantern presented in sufficient time to avoid collision with another vessel. Show them you're there. Mm -hmm. Under seven meters. Yeah. Good. I thought they would have to have like the little battery power bow lights that you can get for dinghies, the suction cup. Right. It becomes a question of what's practicable. Yeah. A battery powered light's pretty practicable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it is. That word cracks me up all the time. Practicable.